Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Capricorn friends and friends of Capricorn. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. And hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So Capricorn, um, I missed you guys. Thank you so much for your patience and being patient with me. Your double patience there. Thank you guys so much. Happy to be back. So um, Capricorn, we're going to go through, look at your energy and meditation here. Uh, look at an Oracle card, then we'll move into the tarot cards as we do. A um, few things came through for you guys in this period, <clears throat> and it seems like there may be um, a bit of a struggle to push through something. Um, like you may be feeling confused as to why you're having a hard time finding success in something. Um, hopefully we can help you out today. So the first thing that came through in sitting down with your energy was white flags and red flags. And then um, always the same is what came in after that. So uh, red flags, like, um, you know, if you don't know, something that we would remain, um, I don't know, how would you put that, like cautious, something that somebody would do that presents as a potential issue to keep an eye out for. Uh, maybe this is a, an omen of something worse to come, a red flag. White flag being um, like surrender, giving up on something. So I kind of get this, this stop go kind of energy, first of all. But um, I'm feeling like could be relationships, could be uh, relationship to yourself, work, whatever this is, you are feeling like something is always the same. You're just in this something like the nine of swords, circuitous nightmare. Um, you're either pandering to somebody's issues in the form of red flags, well, which would be surrendering yourself, giving up in that situation. Whatever the case is or the, the specifics on it, I feel that there is a lot of frustration and defeat. Uh, Five of Swords did fall out as I was shuffling too, so I do feel like there is this like feeling of defeat. Um, the next thing that came through was slow down, Capricorn. Your choices are your choices. Your choice. Your choices are your choice. So there's this reminder here that not that there's blame or shame saying that you're in a situation because of you, um... At the same time, there is a reminder here saying the choices that you make are your choices to make. Um, nobody else is making choices for you. And if they are, then I guess we're talking about something much, much different and is not a typical situation for most people. Um, the next thing that came through was actually Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese, as in uh, I had originally written down natural versus artificial holes. So... Swiss cheese produces holes, and um, I know that there are some Swiss cheeses that are sold as like, like there are artificial holes punched into it. So that's what came through in meditation, and I didn't really know, 303 on the timer, I didn't really know what the difference was, to be honest, so in looking it up, I'm glad to have this information too, the holes in Swiss cheese, it's produced by a certain kind of bacteria that's added to the cheese that produces carbon dioxide. Um, there is also a thought that um, hay particles actually produce larger holes as well. Nowadays, you know, they're not really making things as much in a barn. It's, it's more protected from hay, <laughs> hay getting into the cheese. So what I was reading anyway was saying that there may be less holes in the cheeses nowadays than there were back, back when there was hay around. Um, but the uh, artificial holes, so I was curious about that, they consider Swiss cheese that doesn't produce holes as defective. So it seems to me like they're taking that cheese and they're punching holes in it and still selling it, right? Capitalism, here we go. Um, they consider the defective cheese uh, blind Swiss is what they call it. So I thought that was really poignant here too and pertinent. Talking about not seeing something, kind of back to those red flags and white flags like... All the red flags just look like flags when we're wearing rose-colored glasses, right? <laughs> um, maybe you are wearing rose-colored glasses right now. You're being requested to see something for what it is. And I feel like this is kind of like your own participation as well. Your choices are your choice, right? Um, the next thing that came through was a clock. And this clock didn't have any hands on it. So this, was, this one took me a minute to download. Because um, there was something about like the battery, the energy that goes into it. So what I was seeing was the hands, the mechanism to the clock was off outside of the face of the clock. So the message that came through was no matter how many batteries you put in there, uh, no matter how much energy you put into the system, if the 
mechanism does not have the proper mechanical components, it will not work or it will not tell time. Time is still passing, but you're, you're not getting the function out of it. So you could put energy into it. I guess I kind of take it as like, like manifestation as an example. Um, you are putting energy into your manifestations, right? The right way to talk to yourself. You're working on your emotional state, gratitude with that, bringing that in as, as if it's already here. There is also a component with hands, especially it makes me think of like work, Capricorn work. <laughs> um, there is still a need to put effort into something in order to manifest what it is that you want. Um, can we just manifest something from out of nowhere without any movement? I don't think so. I really don't. You have to put some sort of effort into, you have to pay to play, right? Okay, Capricorn. So <clears throat> let's move into your Oracle card and then we'll move into the tarot messages for you. So white light Oracle is what spirit wanted to work with today. And you guys got uh, Cupio Dissolvi. So Cupio Dissolvi is, um, it's a Latin word. I'm going to read just the first little blurb here because it's a rather long description. It is time to let go. Things are working out in their own way. Trust that your heart is wise and is leading you on a soul healing journey and the right spiritual path. Spirit wants to bring you a blessing and a resolution, but you must let go and allow it to happen. Events are unfolding according to a higher plan. Even if your plans are going awry, know that all will be, all will come together at the right time and in the best way possible. Surrender your struggle and hold on to your faith. Um, so yeah, I kind of back to like the car or the flags too. I'm feeling the struggle. You guys are, are going through a struggle right now. Maybe um, you are in this place where you're going like, what the hell am I doing wrong? What is it that I need to do to move forward in something or, or to manifest something? Um, with surrender coming in there, uh, always, you know, a component I think we forget about, especially when there is a lot of tension or pressure to push forward, uh, surrender, that divine feminine component really can get taken over by the divine masculine, right? Action. Uh, but cupio dissolvi is it, the Latin word. It just means like dissolving, dissolving something from, through the heart. Um, so let's get into your tarot messages, Capricorn. I feel like this is pretty clear so far. I'm excited to see where this goes. So this is the Fortuna deck we're going to start with. What do we have for Capricorn? Please, Spirit. And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support for being here. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a join button next to the subscribe button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And um, there's a link in the description of this video as well you can look at. While you're in there, you can take a look at my website. I do have personal readings available, open and available currently. Feel free to grab one of those if you'd like. So Princess of Talismans here at the bottom. This is your hope, hopes and dreams. So Princess of Talismans is like the uh, Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> So Page of Pentacles, Princess of, of Talismans here. Your hope here is, um, it's that concept of like taking something that may be already broken down and revitalizing it to make it new. I love that actually the clock coming through there too earlier. There's nothing like a broken clock that drives me nuts. <laughs> and I think it's bad luck too. There's some cultures where they consider that to be bad, bad luck to have a broken clock. But um your hope here is to take something that is existing, you, your experience, and to be clever about revitalizing it, about making it new, making it work for you. Make it work, <laughs> Capricorn. Let's get going here. So the next deck we're going to use for you is the Deviant Moon Tarot. The so Spirit, what do we have here for Capricorn? And this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. You are extremely intelligent. You are a grand co-creator here as well. So please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. And leave the rest behind. Leave it behind. Um, check out your rising moon, Venus, and the other major placements in your chart for a more complete picture of your story. We do have every component of the zodiac in our charts. Just depends on where you have it. Okay. Ooh. So fear aversion. <laughs> um, I can see this. Ten of, uh, ten of swords here. <clears throat> So fear version, anxiety, the fear here is uh, doom once again is what I hear. Rock bottom, painful ending, painful loss. 
there is this component with the Ten of Swords where we can get addicted or stuck in that kind of energy. I don't feel like the fear is that you you will get stuck in that, but the fear is that like this is all that there is. Here we go again. Whatever it is that you're working to get out of right now, this is this is the fear. Maybe you are in this place already. <clears throat> if that's the case, your next step is surrender. There's nothing else to do about the Ten of Swords. We just move on. <laughs> I mean, I get it's not a switch, but we have to move away from the disastrous morass that is the Ten of Swords. There's nothing, there's nothing to revitalize there. There's nothing to save. It's time to reset. It's time to shake the Etch-a-Sketch <laughs> and start over, okay? So, general energy here for you guys to start. You have Eight of Candles, Eight of Wands. So I like this, actually. I feel like there is hope coming through here, although the message previous so far has been not necessarily negative, but it's speaking to some struggle outside and inside. Inside. So Eight of Candles here is good news, you guys. I do feel like there is an encouragement or warning. I feel like it's... Mm, advice. We'll say advice. Those words didn't really fit quite right. The advice here is to not be too hasty. So kind of back to the red flags and the white flags. If that's you, if you're noticing that you're falling for one path or the, or the other, the encouragement here is to um, no need to make such quick decisions. Like there are situations where we need to make quick decisions, but um, if you're finding that you're constantly in the same scenario, Let's start to find out why. You don't have bad luck. Nobody's cursed you. Okay? And this isn't shame or blame either, like I said. I am here to help us all win. I would, that's my goal, okay? So let's figure out why, why we're continuing to get into that spot, okay? Slowing it down. Slowing it down just a little bit. Page of Pentacles here too, love it. Love that echo in your general. So we were just talking about this. This is your hope. Your hope is uh, the Page of Pentacles, the Princess of Talismans, and it's showing up here in your general too. So again, your hope, your, um, you're going through this process or there's an opportunity right now to revitalize you, your life. Um, I don't feel like there is a need to throw it all out, whatever pieces that you have right now in your life, things you've learned, um, experiences that you've had, you can take those to create a new experience. I'm the encouragement. I think the missing piece here right now is the time factor with that clock coming through here. There's something about being hasty. Maybe you are in a situation where there is that 10 of swords or you're close to that, or you just remember this happening in your life. And there's a fear that's triggering you back to traumatic moments. Whatever the case is, um, the way through, the advice to get through this is to slow down, to look at what is going on around you instead of making knee-jerk reactions. And like I said, I understand needing to make decisions out of survival, like those are parts of life too, but we're going to work with what we have here. If there are places where we can take an extra day to think about something before making a decision, take that extra day. Really start to dedicate time to dissecting um, why, what choices you do want to make and going a little bit deeper and asking yourself, why do I want to make these choices? What do these choices provide me potentially? How does it serve me to make this decision? These are questions of curiosity, which the Page of Pentacles is very curious, that are very helpful, okay, in starting to break down who we are and what we're doing to understand us a bit better. Because if we don't put that work in to understand ourselves, uh, it's not possible for anybody else to understand us the way that we can. I feel like this will serve you very well. Okay, Capricorn. So moving into your good stuff here. Ooh, good stuff. You have two of candles come through. So two of candles um, or two of wands. This is, uh, it is a need to make a decision. So I'm getting that there is... We're talking about making choices here, slowing down. Um, you're being supported right now. I'm just like with the extra brain power to focus on this. 
this is moving from where you may feel comfortable, your comfort zone, to where you are uncomfortable, something new, for the sake of growth. So you're making the decision to move forward with something. Could be travel for some of you, on another note. There may be some travel opportunities coming forward. Um, but this is like the, I'm getting springboard. This is the starting point as you move into the three of wands energy. You're making the choice to move, to start expanding. Um, and that came through in the meditation too, like with the hands on the clock, you can put as much energy, manifestation energy into something, but there comes a time where the two of wands, the two of candles comes through and we have to make the decision to start, to move, to take a step. So this is being fully supported right now. And I feel like there's an opportunity to make a different choice. I feel like if you're in a, whatever your situation is right now, relationship, work, family, um, which could be a relationship. If you're not seeing another option, ask. Start getting into the habit of asking your spirit team as well. Again, you guys are powerful co-creators here. Don't forget this. There are some wonderful readers here on YouTube too. And it can be very helpful to um, gain confirmation on messages you're already receiving. But don't forget that the initial message comes to you first. <laughs> so if you're not in that habit of, of like looking within and, and building your own intuition and communicating with your own spirit team, now's a great time to start. I feel like that's the big encouragement here. And get ready to take a step to take action, okay? Ooh, Nine of Pentacles comes through here too, next for your good stuff. Love that, you guys, glow up. This is your chance to make a better choice, to move down a path of um, abundance. This is like your bumper crop here. You as an individual are able to uh, do whatever you want here, really, in this realm with the Nine of Pentacles. In the standard Rider weight deck, Rider White, they're um, growing pentacle bushes, right? So getting to a point where mastering some money, I see coming through here. But again, this starts with a decision to change, to want to change something, which also starts with, I'm getting kind of like um, Pluto, death energy. We have to be honest with ourselves. If we want to make a change, we have to be honest about what needs to be changed, which means we have to look at something as objectively as possible and with love and be honest with ourselves, okay? So once you do that though, and make that decision to start shifting this journey, glow up, baby. <laughs> A glowing Capricorn, glowing goat. I love it, you guys, <laughs> love it. So um, oh, Home and Gardens was actually coming through here too. With two of candles being travel, some of you may be uh, moving, may have an opportunity to move, get approved for a house somewhere. Those details may be feeling a bit stressful right now. Maybe they're not quite coming together all the way. Surrender is coming through here again. If that's you in that situation, as an example, you've, you've already put effort into making something manifest, right? So now would be your time to surrender to the powers that are, believe. Know that that's already happening. That's already in the works, okay? So what you don't see coming here, what's in the dark, or what you may not see coming, you have Ace of Candles. A lot of uh, newness, you guys, a lot of fresh starts. But this requires you to slow down, to recognize that uh, there may be work you need to put in if you haven't been putting work in. I know some of you have, okay? Work, 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 that's Capricorn, right? <laughs> uh, but Ace of Candles here, what you may not see is a new path opening up. What you may not see is a new opportunity or experience where passion is coming back into your life. Maybe more creative experiences as well. I do kind of get that actually um, would be a good way to transmute or divert certain kinds of energy or to slow down too, if you're an artistic person or if you're not, uh, to participate in some form of art, music, drawing, painting, sculpting, dancing. Um, there's something about participating in those activities that helps reignite your passion here. It may seem, you may not see the way through right this second, but I do feel like there's an encouragement to surrender to the dance. Interesting. 
Just Dance <laughs> by Lady Gaga. Um, hmm, maybe dancing in particular, you guys. Maybe there's some emotion that you need to move through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So King of Wands comes through here next, what you don't see in the dark. I love that actually, having Ace of Candles and King of Wands, you've gone through the entire suit. What you don't see here through the dark, kind of what I was saying there, there's something about popping into a creative space that reignites your passion to participate in life, um, to be the master of your own experience here again, be the king, be the leader. Instead of playing follow the leader, <laughs> being the leader and following yourself, right? So kind of taking it from zero to 90 is, is sort of what I, I get there. And um, I think that's why there's this request to slow it down, not be too hasty with the eight of candles and making whatever decision needs to happen next, because it's like the smallest tweak in, in deciding where you're gonna go. Maybe you have a lot of options right now, or maybe you don't feel like you have any, so it's like anything is possible, which can be overwhelming too. Um, in making the smallest decision, taking a beat, it's putting you on this path where you do move quickly. And I know that's what you want right now, right? You're tired of being tired. You're tired of being broke, exhausted, sick, whatever. The request here is to slow it down. Find out what role you're playing in the decision-making process here and how much effort you're willing to put forward in the process of your own manifestation, okay? So the uh, challenge here, the difficulty, obstacle, obstacle. You guys have queen of talismans to start. A um, lot of choice, choice is kind of what's coming through here, you guys. I just got done talking about that. Not to echo myself again. Queen of talismans, queen of pentacles, a very strong, deep earth energy. The queen of talismans also, she does live a life of opulence. So kind of, I'm getting that kind of zero to 90. The difficulty here is getting into that space. Well, the reason why the Queen of Talismans is there, why she lives that life, is because she made the decision to do so. She put in the work. <laughs> she grew the wheat. She turned it into flour. She baked it into bread, right? So, um, and that, that's an interesting example. Those other components of, um, I don't remember that, the nursery story of that, the chicken baking the bread. Basically, if you're not aware, um, all of the other farm animal characters were not willing to help the chicken do any other component to creating this bread, except for by the time it was all baked, it smelled so delicious. Everybody wanted to eat that bread, but she said, nah, <laughs> none of you cared to help do any of the hard work, putting the work into that mat. So that's a great example, actually. Thank you, spirit. Um, this chicken <laughs> wanted to manifest a loaf of bread, right? If she were to just sit there and go, loaf of, bread, loaf of bread, loaf of bread. I'm not saying that a loaf of bread, you couldn't manifest that, but there in this realm especially, you have to put work into manifesting as well, physical steps. I'm not talking about grinding. I'm just saying putting steps towards producing something to make it happen faster too. If you are just totally relying on manifestation alone without putting action into it, well, who knows how long that might take for the universe to bring those details in into you. It takes time to bring things to you here and you can expedite that. So that's what I'm getting. Your challenge here is realizing that. Just making the choice. Putting yourself in a place where you're believing in your own actions. You're willing to make decisions to put work into things because you know that it's worth it and that it will produce re results, okay? So next here in your difficulty, 10 of wands, obstacle. So um, it seems that letting something go is kind of holding you back in starting this new process, shifting the way that you're operating here in this physical realm. Um, I am getting like Saturn and karma. You guys are ruled by Saturn. Um, That's interesting. I'm kind of, because I said that earlier too with, um, like you're not cursed, you know, you don't have bad luck. I, I don't feel like this is even like negative karma that may be keeping you stuck in, in whatever place that's painful or difficult for you right now. And I'm not dismissing pain or difficulty. I know full well from personal experience, everything that I'm talking about as well. Trust me. <laughs> 
um, the difference between where you don't want to be and where you do want to be is you believing that you can change that, knowing that you can change that, knowing that you can manipulate through manifestation. And that can be hard because um, a lot of the times we need to see results to believe. Like, I think of the Nine of Cups. There, That individual is very... Um, content, they're ready to receive this feast and they're patient about it because they've had a feast before. So yes, it is a lot easier. Like I get the example of, let's say you're a millionaire and you lose all your money. It's going to be a lot easier for you in that situation to get back to being a millionaire than it would if you were born into um, an impoverished family that has generational trauma surrounding financial things, right? Because they already know well, I know that's possible. So for those of us that were not born in those situations or have not been there, um, that I think is the difficult part. You have to, you have to put yourself, you have to make the choice here to travel to that place where there is abundance. You have to know that exists. Even if presently you're not living in that situation, that is the secret law of assumption. Assume that it's there for you and be willing to take the steps to get there yourself. Okay. So releasing that, the challenge is releasing that old story, I think, these old programs that are surrounding um, your ability to produce abundance, okay? And that can be in relationships, work, just having fun, more joy in your life. Okay, so let's pull um, a spirit, an animal spirit oracle card for you. Yeah, that's right, Doug. The wild unknown animal spirit oracle for Capricorn, please. And then uh, we'll go into the extended reading. If you want to join me there, you guys, there are links in the description. You can join the membership to get access to all of them, or there is a link to buy it a la carte as well. What do we have here for Capricorn, please, Spirit? Whoop. That was just my fumbly fingers, don't worry. Capricorn, Capricorn. Ooh, Ooh okay. So um, dolphin and black egg actually came out here. I love this. Um, so dolphin or black egg, excuse me, I grabbed black egg and said dolphin. The black egg here, this is the um, throat chakra. There's a need to, to watch the way that you're speaking. This may, be, this may be what the caution towards hastiness is. You're being reminded here that your words do actually have a very powerful effect. I'm hearing like speaking out of both sides of your mouth. You can't, you can't work to manifest something and then also destroy your own efforts based on how you're speaking to yourself or your situation. Examples of things are like, oh, like I could never do this or well, our family just don't have those things. Um, but then at the same time, wanting a change, pining for some sort of change. You have to come to a place where you realize your power here. You are a grand co-creator. Co remember, remember who you are, Simba, okay? Um, dolphin here, this is uh, intelligent play is actually what comes through on this for me. Kind of back to dance. They're, they're, you're in a place right now where I think something needs to be moved through physically and play. And I'm thinking like, you know, like I like playing video games. I like there are things that I enjoy doing play to, but are a bit more stationary. I'm getting like active play. Go play Red Rover with someone. <laughs> um, get your inner child engaged and get your body engaged. It, I am kind of being drawn back to something generational. Your child is inner child is wanting to help you release these stories. That ten of wands here. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. I know you guys can do this. I know you can. Um, I love you. Thank you for joining me here. If you do want to join me in the extended, like I said, links are in the description. Private readings are open if you want to check that out. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. They're all great ways to support this channel, and I truly appreciate it, you guys. Thank you, thank you. I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description also. Donations are accepted and truly appreciated. It goes a long way, so thank you to those who support the channel in that way. Um, in the extended, by the way, we'll be looking at messages from your higher self, 
love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. So I'd love to see you there. If not, good to see you. Take care, you guys. Be well.